Hi, Spikey. How was your camping trip to the forest last week? It was great. We learned a lot about plants. I didn't know plants were similar to humans in some ways. What do you mean? Did you know that plants breathe as well? Of course, plants breathe. All living things, including plants, need oxygen to exist. I don't understand. I thought that plants only need carbon dioxide and photosynthesis so they can make their own food and release oxygen in the process. That is correct. However, after making glucose, they need oxygen to help release energy from that glucose. This process of releasing energy is called respiration. But when do they get time to do this? Let's take a closer look at the entire cycle of energy production in plants, from the beginning to the end, so that you can see for yourself. In the presence of sunlight, carbon dioxide and water react to form glucose and release oxygen. This happens during the day. The glucose is transported by phloem vessels from the leaf to different parts of the plant. When these parts need energy, respiration takes place and the glucose is broken down by oxygen. This reaction releases carbon dioxide and water. The energy is stored in special molecules called adenosine triphosphate or ATP molecules. ATP provides energy directly to all the plant cells. Oh, so oxygen is important for plants as well. Yes, oxygen is essential in a lot of reactions. Here's a fun fact. Any reaction that occurs because of oxygen is known as oxidation. Respiration is an important example of oxidation. So together, Photosynthesis and respiration help plants live. Yes, the relationship between photosynthesis and respiration in a plant is very important. Let's explore this relationship by going back to your camping trip when you were sleeping under a tree at night. As there isn't any sunlight, photosynthesis cannot take place in the tree. Only respiration takes place. So oxygen is absorbed from the atmosphere while carbon dioxide is released. Now let's fast forward to a few hours later when there's dim sunlight to brighten the early morning sky. At this time, both photosynthesis and respiration are taking place in the leaves of the tree. The oxygen produced by photosynthesis is being used for respiration. And in turn, the carbon dioxide produced by respiration is being used for photosynthesis. As a result, no exchange of gases occurs between the leaves and the environment. The photosynthesis rate is equal to the respiration rate. Now at noon, when the light is bright, the rate of photosynthesis is very fast. So a large amount of carbon dioxide is being used. The carbon dioxide produced by respiration is not enough. So the leaves take in carbon dioxide from the environment. There's more than enough oxygen for respiration. So extra oxygen is released back into the atmosphere. Oh, I understand the importance of the relationship now. Without respiration and photosynthesis in plants, we wouldn't have any oxygen or food to stay alive. Exactly. Let's now summarize what we've learned. Phloem vessels transport glucose from the leaves to different parts of the plant. Glucose is broken down by oxygen to release energy, carbon dioxide, and water in a process known as respiration. This energy is supplied to plant cells by adenosine triphosphate molecules. Photosynthesis takes place only during daytime, while respiration takes place all the time.